Okay, to create a changeup dot ball or a sinker dot ball, you're going to use a bottle cap. It can be a Gatorade cap or anything else that's a roughly this size. And from here, you just want to make sure it's lined up perfectly um, here in between these seams like so. And from there, you're going to take a Sharpie and you're going to do an outline around that cap. Try to keep it as tight as you can. You want this circle to be as perfect as it can be. And then once you have your circle, you'll then take time to fill it in. Okay, now that you're done, this is what it should look like. It should be a very uh, clear, black dot here, here on the side of the baseball. Now when you're throwing your change up or you're throwing your sinker, you want to make sure that the dot is on the inside of your hand. So me being left-handed, when I throw a change up, I want to make sure the dot is positioned on the inside. I don't want it on the outside because when I throw it, I won't be able to see the dot. And then of course, I don't want to be in a four seam type of position like this. This is going to be a two seam variation of a change up or a sinker. So I'm here, I want it on the inside. So obviously if I'm right-handed, the dot would be on the left side of the ball in this case. When I throw this pitch, I should be able to see the dot facing me if I'm left-handed in the top right corner like so. Okay, if I throw a two-seamer or I throw a change-up and I can barely see it, it's you know rotating something like this, that's a sign that the pitch is rotating too efficiently. This pitch needs to lose a little bit of efficiency, um, probably in the 70 to 90% range for you to be able to see the dot clearly. Um, so it might have a feeling that you're actually cutting the ball slightly. So when I throw this pitch, I almost think about throwing it with my hand in this position and feeling it slip and roll off of this finger to create this type of spin here. So the dot being left-handed should be fully visible in the top right corner, spinning perfectly clean. If it's all choppy and wobbly, then that's a sign that it's off. Um, usually when I ask guys, can you see the dot? If they say sort of or kind of, that tells me that it's not rotating perfectly. When you throw this correctly, it'll be very visible that it's spinning the correct way and it's spinning cleanly facing you in the upper right-hand corner. Now, if you're right-handed, it should be rotating in the upper left-hand corner. So same thing, I release the ball and it should be rotating in this type of position here like so, okay? Um, now, if it's facing me too directly, let's just say that it's facing me like this as it's rotating, and that's a sign that I'm cutting it too much and it's gonna appear to basically be like a slider, a gyro type of slider. Same principles with a sinker. So if I'm throwing a two seam fastball or a sinker, it should have the same effect. I'm trying to get the same type of rotation. And the idea is essentially the pull of this baseball, when I throw this correctly, it's going to be going in the opposite direction of where this dot is. So if I throw this as a left-hander and it's in the upper right-hand corner, it should be taking off down into this direction. And that's why it's gonna be really important to Make sure the efficiency is correct because if my efficiency is too high, let's just say I throw it like this and I can just barely see the dot, then it's just going to take off and run in the direction of the spin axis.